Kate Garraway's friend, presenter Claire Nazir, has claimed the Good Morning Britain host is being eaten alive by uncertainty, as her husband Derek Draper remains in hospital after battling coronavirus. Claire has said that while Kate, who returned to the ITV breakfast program after taking time off following Derek's hospitalization in March, is a warrior, the uncertainty over her husband's recovery is a constant. Kate is a warrior and she'll do what she has to do to get through this, Claire told Closer magazine. This is someone who isn't phased by interviewing the Prime Minister or victims of child abuse, because she can relate to everybody and has the mental capacity to cope. Visit our live blog for the latest updates Coronavirus News Live, she's incredibly resilient. Some people would have crumbled by now, but this is going to make her stronger. Claire added Kate's priority was to keep the lives of the kids she shares with Derek, her daughter Darcy and son Billy, as normal as possible. She went on, the uncertainty eats her alive, but she doesn't want that to transition to them. She's doing an amazing job of keeping them buoyant and positive. They're doing amazingly well. They all have that inner Garraway strength, which has sustained Kate over so many months. Recently 53-year-old Kate shared a breakthrough in that Derek, also 53, had mouthed the word, par to doctors. But while the presenter felt it was a huge breakthrough for her family, it was bittersweet in that it meant her husband was in pain. Kate said on GMB, way back in April when we chatted for the first time and I said he seems to have survived thus far but I'm praying for a miracle. This could be it but I'm still trying to keep myself in check. Every time they said let us know if you can feel any pain and he very clearly mouthed the word, pain. There wasn't a tone but a whisper. She continued, later I was watching and I saw him mouth it again. It is a breakthrough but it is heartbreaking because it means he's in pain which we don't want. While Derek is now able to breathe without the aid of a ventilator, it was claimed last month he was the UK's longest suffering COVID-19 patient in hospital and is one of five people in the world to be so badly affected by the condition.